In this video, we are going to look at a novel method to evaluate shoulder joint repositioning sense using a simple laser pointer. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Joint repositioning sense, JPS or proprioception, has been shown to be reduced in shoulder laxity, those who participate in overhead sports, when being fatigued, and in people with shoulder pain. For example, Glendon et al. in 2016 showed that there was no difference between the dominant and non-dominant arm in healthy individuals, while Balke et al. from five years earlier have shown that patients with shoulder instability performed significantly worse in three angles of flexion compared to healthy controls. So there may be value in assessing this entity in your shoulder patient at baseline and at follow-ups to gauge progress of your intervention. Now, the question is, how can we do this in a reliable manner that does not require complicated machinery or very expensive tools? The answer might lie in a beam of red light, laser pointers. Wafadar et al. from 2016 evaluated three measures of shoulder flexion joint positioning sense on their inter- and intra-radar reliability. Next to agonio and inclinometer, the laser pointer method was evaluated and they found an overall inter-radar ICC of 0.86 and an intra-radar ICC of 0.78. This is the first time that reliability measures were calculated for this assessment and testing protocols between studies deferred in terms of where the laser pointer was attached to the arm or whether patients were giving visual practice rounds, which is why we give it a moderate clinical value for now. We would like to demonstrate a simplified JPS measurement for shoulder movement, which makes use of the findings of the previously mentioned studies. Shout out at this point to Adam Meekins. For this setup, the patient stands behind a line about a meter away from the wall. With the engaged laser pointer in one hand, they are asked to flex the arm to 90 degrees. You can measure the angle easily and reliably with your smartphone and clinometer. Attach the scoreboard to the wall so that the center is aligned with the laser pointer. We will assess flexion, abduction and returning from external rotation. The patient is then allowed three practice rounds with eyes open. The fourth attempt is done with the eyes closed and you will record their score. As the maximum score for each attempt is 10, the cumulative maximum when assessing three movements is 30. There should be no more than a 10% difference in scores between sides. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like, continue with our shoulder instability playlist on the left and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Links to our assessment ebook and mobile app are in the video description along with our other social media accounts and literature used for this video. Thanks again for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!